Hello and welcome. Silray is here with MechWarrior Online. And this is some build theory crafting for the Ibon Jaguar. Cauldron Born, if you prefer that particular name for this mech. I have stripped all four of the uh, Ibon Jaguars I own because my builds were from before there were. Um, set of eight quirks and whatever on these things, actually, uh, before there were any clan quirks. So I figured, alright, let us redo all of these uh, things, um, or rather at least come up with four usable builds, because these are Omnimax, so I can basically do any build on any of the variants. Also, I don't own all of these, there is now a hero version, and there is a uh, D variant, I think, was the uh, uh, fifth one, which I also don't own, but I checked it out, and it doesn't have any center torso hard points. So it doesn't make any difference that I do not own that variant. Anyways, uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually check uh, if there is... Well, these things do not have anything in the head, so I don't have to worry about that. I can just keep the heads as they are. But, um, is there a set of eight with good heart point combination which I could build around? First of all, is there any useful set of eight? Like, clan machine gun rate of fire for a 65 ton heavy mech where I can do very good builds to begin with. That is not a set of 8 bonus I really care about. The USA 20 jam chance is kind of nifty, but that would require turning a hell... Um, an, Im an Ibon Jaguar, not a Hellbringer. An Ibon Jaguar, the other 65 toner being the Hellbringer, um, into a uh, some sort of a... some sort of a brawler. Acceleration, deceleration... Turn rate, those are kind of nice bonuses to make the mech even more mobile and, and, and... Hmm, that seems kind of nice, actually. UAC jam jams, just a straight up UAC jam, alright? Uh, I do not have the D variant, the UAC jam and ER laser, and what is the prime? Ballistic cooldown, energy cooldown, missile cooldown, alright, that is not something I do, I want to build. Uh, problem, uh, there is all three weapon systems per, uh, cooldowns present, that means there is going to be all three uh, uh, hard points present, and I do not want to mix hard points that much, because, all right, let's, now let's have a look see at this, okay, Ibon Jaguar Prime, what would, uh, would it gain, um, if I, uh, I mean, it's the A variant, I can just do it here and I can see the hard points, because there is nothing in the head anyway. Okay, yeah, see, this is all over the dang place. It would be ba cooldowns, but you would have two weapons to benefit from the cooldowns, and you would have uh, two missile weapons to benefit from the missile cooldown, and only one energy hard point to benefit from the energy cooldown. Uh, yeah, you can do things like two, uh, like, like two UAC tens or something, and 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 maybe small SRM racks. Not something I want to do on an Ebon Jag, I think. No, not not really, no. Uh, also, with only two weapons, um, I would rather have the UAC uh, um, Jam Jans uh, than o over the, the, the cooldowns, if I were for that kind of a belt. Alright. So basically, um, USC 20 jam, does this have one ballistic, triple energy, ballistic, double energy, ballistic, double energy? We could technically do a... Mm, that, is an in, that is interesting. Okay, this is gonna be a ear, huh? Okay. Um, this would allow doing a uh, multiple energy hard points with a UAC 20. That seems kind of entertaining. And there is a big UAC uh, jam jam square going on. Let's just stick a ton of ammo there. So I have some ammo sitting around. Um, now I do love an Ibon Jack from the point of view that damn these things have a lot of space on them. Um, oh. I, now I remember this torso issue. Um, also, uh, if you're uh, uh, using this as a reference for yourself, uh, feel free to change the um, 
change the, the, the armor layout to fit yourself. I use this much back armor because that's well, well, what tends to work for me. Alright, this is way too hot belt right now. And there is not enough ammo for the UAC-20. Uh, 1.22, uh, have to use something else, but that, but that is feasible. So why the uh, micro laser there? Let me show you. This is a shoulder which is poking out, um, and if if you look here, this is the side torso energy uh, uh, hard point. This is the thing about I just remembered about the um, a left torso. Uh, if I put in two more of those, these are now here. Remember, this is the first laser you put in. The next two end up in the shoulder. So if I do the order differently, I put in, put in medium pulse laser, uh, and medium pulse laser, and then the micro laser. The micro laser is actually up here, one of the medium pulses is down here. So, uh, gotta love the fact that there is now a micro laser for that slot actually. Uh, because I used to have to do that with a small laser, instead of a micro laser. Okay, um, so this build is doable, uh, except, um, this build is, I mean, no, I don't want to do just one large pulls up there, because I was considering, I was considering this for a short moment, where it's just one large pulls up there and four medium pulses, but that is even more he, uh, more weight, so that won't work. Um, we can do ER mediums. Uh, but if we're gonna go this sort of a brawl, we could do just um, small pulses. How badly would that uh, be on the on the weight scale? This is gonna be very. We can fire the ER micro with the small pulses. All right, that leaves me ten tons. All right, that is that is kind of insanely lot. Let's just stick a couple tons of ammo there. Should be actually be able to do this. It's a very heat efficient build, apparently. Uh, and I can do one more ton of ammo uh, by dropping more armor or just half a ton and increasing armor. Okay. That seems workable. That could be a possibility on the uh, Avaran. Then we have a brawling Ibon Jack, and I don't. I honestly don't think that is the, the, the um, benefit of the Ebon Jag of being a brawler. Because, uh, uh, l let's be honest, uh, these up high mounts here are very good for hill peaking. Like, well, when I whenever I think of Ebon Jag is from way back when, when I first got these and I played them a bunch and stuff. Um, is a, a hill peak with these things. Like, I used to have two PPCs here and I would hill peak with those. There's still probably a build we can do now. Uh, I stripped uh, such a build out of here. Alright. Okay, so that, that is one idea, but I don't think I am building that at all for myself. I, if that helps you, then good for you. Now, what was the other one? It was this one with the acceleration deceleration rates. I actually have the B variant. Let's jump over it and let's see the. The, 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 uh, what would this be? Oh, that is actually a good amount of energy hard points. Wait, this is not a, uh, uh not, a, not a bunny here, right? Uh, it's ho it's partial bunny here. So if I leave it at one, it would not be a bunny ear. This could be an in this could be interesting. Uh, uh, usually when I build an Ebon Jack, I want that well, bunny ear to peek over hills, but maybe this could be done as a uh, Ebon Jack without the bunny ear. So this was an acceleration deceleration rate uh, um, build. With 
Seven energy heart points. Uh, six if we leave out the bunny here. Technically, we could do. We could just do. Uh, um. Actually, this is this is interesting. Yep, wrong thing. Where where are you? This is interesting. Uh, a combination of uh, uh, medium pulses and a large pulse. Wrong key. See that? No bunny ears. Or Mickey Mouse ears. However you wanna call them. I call them bunny ears. Everything is... Uh, so no, basically worse hill peaker. But basically all of the lasers are uh, just below the cockpit level. Guaranteed these arm lasers are very wide out and so on. But this is a pretty damn small profile mech. For being a 65 ton heavy. Uh, if you compare this for uh, profile to profile uh, without the ears, uh, with a Hellbringer, the Hellbringer is much taller, much blockier Mac to shoot that than this thing is. I kind of like this idea. Does this actually work for a build though? Should be able to uh, get in that many heat sinks just fine, and maybe even a targeting computer. This would, uh, this could actually be nice from the point of view that they uh, uh, changed the heat scale just a little bit ago. All right, it seems the mech lab is breaking now, with the slots going off the. Um. Oh, isn't that just freaking perfect? Wow, that is freaking perfect. Pretty heat management mac, pretty good on that. Uh, Medium, six medium pulses firing at once is uh, 4.75, just under 30, uh, as in 28, and one large pulse laser would be, where where is it, um, 10, so that is 38 heat for an alpha, which is not bad, with this many double heat sinks it will cool off really, really quickly. Okay, this is probably something we do. I, I do build actually on the B variant. This seems very nice, and it becomes a mobile. Uh, it gains the mobility buffs, making this short range uh, sort of a brawler laser vomit kind of a nice idea. Because uh, increased turn rate, acceleration, deceleration. Hmm, I like that. I li I like that. It. Granted, it does not use the strength of the uh, um, Ibon Jaguar, which is the uh, bunny ears here for heel picking. That is the b uh, massive strength of, uh, of the Ibon Jaguar. That and the fact that it's a 65 ton mech with a lot of a lot of empty slots because it, uh, you know, a lot of empty slots. You can put in so much stuff in these things. But otherwise, I really like this build. I think I'm gonna do that, even though it's probably suboptimal for uh, for an Ibon Jaguar build. But I will probably make that just for funsies and, and at least test it out, see if it work or if it's workable. All right, let's use something else for, for play around with all of these. Let, let's play uh, play around with the one with the with the with the cheek mouse uh, cheeks. So. This is the invasion variant, if you haven't uh, uh, seen one of those. Shows when I got these dang things. Alright, so the B variant is the only one I really want to do anything with. The A variant has two bad hit point locations. And the Prime gets uh, Torso Missile, Torso Missile, Ballistic, Ballistic, okay, not worth it. The C variant, Ballistic Missile, Ballistic Missile, Missile, Missile. Okay, that would be... If I wanted to do a uh, um, an even jag with uh, with like a, um, multiple UACs or something, um, but it doesn't really benefit uh, benefit from from it, I would say the C variant either because the UACs would be in the damn arms and the missile hard points would be in the damn shoulders. All right. Let's try other other things. First of all, let us try the uh, good old uh, variant I was always in love with. Let's see if we can still, uh, as in we can. Let's use B arms so there is no uh, ballistic hard points sitting around. We can still do this, but it will have to be with a um, 
With small pull slicers, I think. Because previously, uh, uh, this is way before uh, the, the, the heat scale change, and I think the heat scale change is what makes this less feasible to do. Uh, instead of these me small pulse lasers, I would use uh, medium lasers, as in ER medium lasers. And then you just fill in with uh, double heat sinks. Uh, however, I'm thinking with the, uh, the... I have obviously not verified this. This is built theory crafting and I have not played Ebon Jaguar in ages. Um, so... Um, do not know for fact. Uh, granted, this last heatsink can be swapped for a targeting computer. I think I like that heatsink better. So the the idea is here. Here is the is simple as you can see. Two ERP PCs to heal poke with, and then once things get close, you melt it with the lasers and stop firing the PPCs. That um. So as I was saying previously, I used this build with uh, replacing all these small pulse lasers with ER mediums. But with the heat scale changes and all of that, I think this is probably the better build because uh, firing those ER mediums is just gonna be so much heat. Because they uh, did change the heat. Um, one could argue nerfed it or whatever. I'll just say changed on the ER mediums to be 6.3 heat for 6.5 damage. Small pulses are now uh, 2.05 heat for 4 damage. So yeah, the alpha on the smaller range, uh, on, on the, you know, closer range stuff is smaller, but so is the heat. Uh, however, the uh, damage per second goes up because the cooldown is only 1.9 with 0 0.6 duration. Although, obviously, optimal range is down as well. But So you just, well, basically have to use the PPCs for further, for, for closer ranges as well. But this is very much a, a workable build, and I'll probably uh, make it this build and run around with it, because it, like this double PPC in the uh, shoulder for uh, uh, peeking over hills, for for peeking just this thing over, basically over the hill, so basically just your cockpit so you can see a target and this thing and fire and pull back. That was always really, really, really good. Alright, um, so that definitely works still. What else would work? Um, can we do... Oh yeah, we can we can do the... the, the um... Actually, we now have micro lasers, so we might be able to... Uh, view this fully uh, uh, using micro lasers as a... Always click that. Okay, so... Um, Ibon Jaguar A should be... Yeah, this is a uh, high torso mount already. Let's just stick the ammo here for now. Let's say full three tons of ammo. We will drop a ton if that seems reasonable. So uh, with the ammo skills, you basically need only two uh, tons of gas ammo now. Um, uh, so how about... Can this be done with just ER mediums? So the idea being, um, idea being a ghost, ghost rifle, six ER mediums. Yeah, I think this can be done with the, uh, just mediums, fine. Even have, even could just do this then, and increase armor, or put a half ton of ammo. And increase armor. Yeah. Now, uh, notice the. Uh, I explained this ordering already, where it's a uh, uh, micro laser first, so the micro laser is down here, and mediums here. This is now a ghost rifle with 6 ER mediums. Mm. Look at that heat management. A lot of heat sinks. Uh, you could even drop a heat sink and go, uh, go targeting computer if you want to. Interesting. Or could drop this half ton, or, uh, half ton of ammo, lower armor even more, and then put pick up a uh, targeting computer. That is quite nice. Uh, it's probably also a build we I will make because this uh, this combination with the ghost rifle with lasers is always nice, and especially in 
in this setup, um, you'll need multiple weapon groups though, uh, because you can just peek these over a hill and go ghost rifle and, and, and medium lasers uh, over a hill, and uh, then a separate weapon group for the arm lasers, so, and maybe this one as well? So you can fire, because the micro laser can be fired with all the mediums without, um, without ghost hit. Okay, I, I like that. Uh, now, uh, on the same vein, let's, uh, let's strip this. And let's have a look-see of what, what would it be if I went in a, uh, in a longer range version of this. Like this. Where are... Because we can do... Thank, thank you to micro lasers. We can do a lot of stuff with this now. Either a double heatsink or half ton gauze ammo. Probably half ton gauze ammo for this. All right. Similar, same idea, except now you have ER larges here. I'm not so sure this is the this is better. Um, maybe for uh, something like faction warfare, this could be better for a for. A, for, for more of a sniping role, possibly. But uh, overall, idea idea is the same. Peak with the ghost rifle, ER larges over a hill, fire those, and then you use the micro laser setup here for close range uh, fighting when it, when you have to. Hmm. Also very workable, but I think overall I prefer the six medium lasers. It will very likely be more consistent, especially in quick play matches, where you can't abuse the extreme range of the ER larges um, so, so well all the time. Alright. See how this mech lab is breaking? <laughs> uh, dang, this game is funky. Anyways, uh, let's uh, do the obvious one as well. Don't think we need a D right torso here. Wait, is D right torso uh, 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 a bunny ear one? Let's drop a couple lasers in it and let's see. Yeah, it is one laser bunny ear. Okay. The other is in the. Uh... Alright. So you technically get three lasers up. Hot. Wow, actually, I hadn't considered that. Um, well, go in place, will you? Uh, I had not considered that because that would allow uh, um, three lasers up up high. So let's say uh, ER large, ER large, and an ER medium. Okay, let's uh, see about that, shall we? Okay, so uh, I'll just use the micro laser for no, uh, for for that. So ER medium, where is an ER large? ER large, ER large. Nope. Another micro laser first, and then the ER large. Let's fill uh, this up. Okay, we have a lot of tonnage. We could actually replace these micro lasers with ER, with ER mediums. That could work. But uh, you can see the idea here, where it's ER large, uh, ER large and ER medium. Basically, he'll peek with both of those shoulders and just fire all the long range stuff, pull back, he'll peek again, fire the long range stuff. This would allow... Uh, this would allow for some actual real poking. Uh, also of interest here is that if we, if we really want to, we could do triple ER large here, and just eat the ghost heat whenever uh, you heal peak with three ER large lasers and just eat the ghost heat and then pull back into cover. That. Seems like it could uh, it would have some po some possibilities uh, probably in in long range engagements in faction play, 
but uh, less so in quick play. Of course, you can feel free to try this out if you if you so desire. I don't think I am going to be building this for myself, though. Do not uh, see the point in that. Right. It doesn't fix it if I jump from Mac to Mac. God dang it. Probably fixes it uh, itself when I jump into an actual match. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, so let's say I do not need that bunny here there. Um, we can do is, is, is. Good old laser vomit. Where are my medium lasers? God dang it. Here are mediums, large pulses. Fill in with, fill in with heat sinks. This should actually fit perfectly. Yeah, six, six, uh, um, uh, seven slots left, so this fits perfectly. Of course, this cannot use uh, heavy larges because if you go heavy larges, you will have leftover uh, uh, tonnage. So large pulls in six ER mediums for a big, big, good old clan laser vomit. Large pulls is up here, medi six medium lasers in in this just below the cockpit level. You can uh, peak with just the uh, large pulses over a ridge. You can use the ER mediums for, for that work. Very, very workable build. Old school build. Very, very workable still. Alright. Uh, I suppose the, the uh, interesting thing is now uh, um, left for me is... What would I do with... Because... Uh, um, I don't really like doing multiple AC bells and whatnot on an Ibon Jaguar for one simple reason. There is no way to get more than one uh, one of those into a bunny here. Like, if I could get a UAC-10 here and a UAC-10 here, but if you look, no ballistic hard points, no ballistic hard points. If you could heal peak with two UAC-10s, that would be perfect. And that's probably why they haven't given us, uh, uh, you know, the... <laughs> The, the, the ability to do that and and so I don't really see myself doing that like yeah you can do like one UAC 10 and lay and like large pulse laser or something in the other okay you can do that but um to really really take the most out of an Ebon Jaguar I really want those Mickey Mouse ears the bunny ears except I'm gonna still do this Ebon Jaguar B variant with just the uh just these lasers here for, to see if if that mobility is actually worth it. If not, then I'll build it as well with some sort of bunny. Here. But uh, final final setup here. What can I do with missiles? So I do not have uh, missiles to work around with because there is ATMs and stuff. So what can I do with missiles for 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 a bunny here? Um, Actually, this thing does have a lot of space. Maybe we can do uh, um, triple ATM nines. God dang it! I lost the ATM nine for a short moment. Those are in bunny ears, right? Yeah, those are in bunny ears. Technically, just hill peak with two ATMs. This is probably why I want ATM 12s up there. This is also interestingly high, basically cockpit level. This third one. So when you peek over the cockpit, you can probably fire all three. How much ammo can this thing take before we uh, start losing out of uh, slots and stuff? So remember, triple ATM nines is uh, 27 shots, which means with one one ton of ammo you can fire approx four times. Well, because it's one 105, so it's a little less than four, but you get the point. Uh, 
So, something like one more ton of ammo. Seems reasonable. We could, we could uh, or, or what we do need, is an active probe. We could probably get away with a light active probe for now. And also a light tag. And could do backup lasers if desired. Um, couple double heat sinks and do you could do uh, backup lasers to that. Something crazy like two heavy mediums. Uh, this tag could actually go here. Personally, I do not like having a tag in the torso if I can avoid it. Because... Um, uh, because uh, um, I like being able to use it to track moving targets, so it being in the arm is probably the better way to go. But this seems kind of kind of nifty, actually. Yeah, this can be upgraded to an active probe. Gives half a ton. And there is also a couple slots here. All right, this would be a wor workable build, actually. A couple heavy mediums for close-up work. Um, a light tag for actually getting locks. Active probe, triple A ATM nines. Add a ton of ammo. Maybe drop a ton of ammo if you don't want, and go uh, go grab a targeting computer. Um, still have a few slots to play and two tons. So, absolutely wanted to make this a very heat efficient. Could uh, go. Actually, these could just be changed to medium pulse lasers. Even that will work as well. Still not uh, not a fan of having the tag here. Is there an arm with a uh, um, no no arm arm with a uh, missile and, and, and energy? So so can't put it uh, put these on one side with the with the. With the tag in it. All right, but this this looks kind of nice. How about we do an ATM-12 version of that still? Um, because we can definitely do that. And this this wrong thing I'm trying to put there. Can definitely do an ATM-12 version. Um, well, Ibon Jaguar C with all these missile hard points, you could do like. Two ATM nines, two ATM sixes, something like that, as well. But that has no interest to me because it's probably worse, worse setup than you can do with just double ATM twelves and 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 lasers. All right. I mean, we could do light active probe here. Um, light tag. Go. Either medium pulses or again heavy mediums. Whichever works, whichever you want. The double heat sinks on top. This seems fairly workable again. Seems like another possibility for a missile mech here. I probably don't don't think I will do missile mechs out of uh, Ibon Jaguars personally because they are so good at other things. But um, all oh, right. Speaking of uh, other things, let's have a look see of uh, uh, using that D variant torso. How many how many medium pulse lasers can we cram here? Yeah. Leave that out. It has ballistic hard points. Don't need. How many medium pulse lasers can we cram here? If, uh, um, like three in this shoulder, two in this arm, two in this arm, two here. He thinks. Of course, you can't fire all of these at once because the uh, because of ghost heat. Oh bloody, that is perfect. Look at that, that is probably a build you want to try. What you have is a uh, uh, 
heal peaking medium pulse lasers. And when, when things get close, you just fire six at a time. As in you fire six and then you fire three, because this thing carries nine of the dang things. Oh, that, that, that looks perfect. And do, do you see how badly, badly this <laughs> mech lab is breaking now? Oh, damn, this game is funky. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna end this here. Hopefully this was helpful to somebody who is uh, thinking of buying Ebon Jaguar or uh, has old, outdated builds like I did on the Ebon Jaguar. Hopefully this, this helps you out on it. And um, to rem remind as well from the armor values, um, Mine are set up so that I have exact tonnage um, with the engine, so feel free to fiddle around with the armor values to your liking, uh, including adding more rear armor if you are afraid that this tree isn't enough. Frankly, the tree is enough, so... Anyway, thank you very very much for watching.